Hello, this is Neil from MyPaintGirls.com, and we're continuing on with the comics. Before we get into coloring, and the style we're going to be using for coloring the pages is different than what I showed in the Laura Croft. Uh, that was for like a comic cover. <clears throat> you can't really, you can use some of those techniques, but they're really got to use something that's more streamlined and, and quicker because you got to get through pages fast. So I'm going to show you some other ways to get through a page quickly when you're coloring it. Another thing that could be time consuming is drawing backgrounds. And uh, I found this gem of a software called SketchUp by Google. It's free. So check this out. This is one of the models you can download. It's a huge city. You go to Google, right? Type in SketchUp. Then go to Google SketchUp. And then go to download here. And you download it. It's uh, really, it works quickly. It doesn't take up much resources. You know, so you can use it on, even on an older computer very cool software. Now to search for things go to Google 3D Warehouse. Yeah, I don't know, did you just see where I just clicked down here at the bottom right hand side? Google 3D Warehouse. So you click on that and then you can search for what you want like a pistol or a city and then you can you know like this pistol you can, you can click on it then you go download, download the latest model which is 6. It'll still work with you know it's a backwards compatible so you'll probably have down, you know, version 7 but you know these will still work. But just make sure you get download the latest model. Right, and you have all kinds of guns you can choose from, and this is just you know a quick way to have a prop. That way, you don't have to um, you know do it yourself in in Google SketchUp. And it's, what's really cool is um, even if you don't want to use it, use what you have in Google SketchUp and import it or export it. You can just use it as a reference, so you know, okay, cool, that's what a gun looks like from that angle. So if if anything, it's just really good for referencing. Uh, you can download fat cars, man and really good for referencing as well. I used it for my uh, flying cars. I just uh, you know, took, a, took one of these cars and then changed it into a flying car and you know, altered some of the shapes and everything. But so you have all these different kind of cars you can choose from. Like this one's really cool, this uh, tuned up Viper. So you can download that and then you can you know, switch the angles around once you're in here. You can see it from different angles and stuff. And then you know, it's just a quick way to get if anything, like I said, get a reference. So to turn the background white like this, you go to Windows, Scenes. Actually, what I'll do is, you know, I'm going to open up a new. I'll just go new, just to show you really quick. So it comes with this little guy here. He's kind of helpful. Just helps you know what your scaling is. Um, so let's say we wanted to uh, get rid of all the background. So you go to Model, or Window, sorry, Styles. Go to Edit here, and get rid of Sky. Notice what icon I'm on. I'm on this third icon here on, under Edit. Then click on the background. Make sure on the drop down you choose RGB. Just put them all to the right, and that's an easy way to get white background. So now we have a white background. And so what's really cool, I just want to show how quick you can do this and why this is such a beneficial software to use for doing quick backgrounds. Even if you don't add all the detail in Google or in, in SketchUp, you can at least get the base the base down, and then you can import that and then use it like as a a reference inside of Illustrator or whatever and then you can start adding more details on and stuff. But let's say you wanted to like a wall for a house, right? You're gonna you're gonna do a room or whatever because a lot of your uh, comic is gonna take place in, in a room or in a house. You can design the whole house if you wanted to. Just leave you know certain walls uh, easy to disappear and reappear and stuff on, on layers. That way you can you know so definitely learn how to use this software. It's really cool. Learn how to use the layers and stuff. But anyway so you grab this tool here and you make your um, you know, shape of the wall. Then you grab this tool up here, the push pull tool, and you just select a face. In this case, we're gonna select the only face or the bottom face, and then you just pull it up. You can grab any face, and then you can pull it whatever shape you want. So it's really easy. If I wanted to grab this face, I just you know flip it around like that. Grab this tool on the left. And notice under here, I have what windows I want uh, under tools, under view rather. Under view, I have all these um, and under toolbars, I have these, and that puts these tools over here. So it just makes it easier to, to do everything I need to do. So let's say we wanted a door, right? Really easy. All you do is you grab this square tool again, click on a, on an edge, drag it up, however big you want your door to be. You can also go and uh, import a door, grab one of the doors that's uh, one of the default doors that comes with the software. You go to File, Import, and then under this you have all these different things. I, I've downloaded a lot of different things that I, I use and check out for referencing. It's really cool. Then you grab your push pull tool, click on the face there, and push in until you see that gradient like that and then let go. And that will get rid of it so it makes a you know a hole through it. 
Then you can, you know, you can put your door there. Let's say I didn't want this to be so thick. I can do that. Then I can grab this move tool. And now I can grab it and pull it, you know, back towards me. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What I did there is I only moved one face. I wanted to move, you know, the whole thing. I can move that guy too, I guess. I want to move like that. So, okay, there we go. I'm going to grab this guy here. I want to move him out of the way as well, just like that. I can also get rid of him. Get rid of him. You know, now that I have somewhat of a scaling, actually, but I should probably make sure that. You know, that's kind of a tall door, right? So I can pull the door down by going like that. I can grab that face and I can just simply pull it down. So it, it's so easy to use and uh, versatile that it's definitely worth having. So there you go. And then let's say you wanted um, the bottom part here, the bottom part of the... That red line is get my way. I probably should just grab all this and pull it up. Just for it's... Um, there we go. Anyway, so you grab your pencil tool, and any time you want to make new faces, you can just grab a pencil tool or your edge tool, and you can do it really quickly and easily. So let's say um, we're going to go like that. So I click there, grab my face tool. I'm going to pull this out just a bit. Pull this side out just a bit. You can also check different angles to make sure you did that right. So that's like the you know the bottom base of a house. That, you know some houses have that fancy bottom. You can like decorate it different colors. You can also paint your faces different colors by grabbing this paint bucket tool, and then you know just use colors because all this other stuff like you know metals and stuff. A lot of this is pretty crappy, and I'd rather just you know if I'm going to do textures, do it right in Photoshop. But you can still see what it would look like just to see you know get a quick idea, but uh, I don't recommend using the textures in this program. Sometimes it does that, like it you have to just click on the screen again to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is just go to colors, and you can just pick a different color, you know, for now. And So you can do your base color work right here in the software if you wanted to. You know, you, you can actually use this, you can import this, and you know, and then uh, just flat out use it. Let's say you wanted the wall and you have it all designed, then you go to File, Export, or excuse me, I want to Export 2D Graphic, and then um, you know, choose JPEG option, make sure you choose something big, and then, then you put that, open that uh, JPEG, and you can also do a PNG or whatever open that JPEG inside of Illustrator or whatever and you can like either draw right over it or just straight use it and then add on to it. But let's say you know we wanted a window but for some reason we wanted a round window. So you grab the round tool, start from where you want the center of it to be. Let's say you want the window to be right here, right? So you can bam, make the window right there. And um, <clears throat> you can also change the uh, circles into ellipses. Um, I can't remember how to do it right now. I think you can like I'm trying to hold down different. No, none of those work. So, I, I I know there's a way to do it. I just can't remember how it is. But you can turn it to ellips ellipses, and, you know, to make it oval. Anyway, so trying to unselect that tool, grab the face tool, pull it through until you see that gradient. Let go. Bam! Now we got a circle window. So it's really easy, like I said, to do all this. Let's say instead of this to be a doorway, we want it to be an archway. Well, grab this arch tool here, click on the corner, click on the edge again, and then pull it up however you know however you want it. We can make it really weird shape, like a keyhole, to like that, to just normal like this, you know, maybe less. I'm gonna do some really weird like a keyhole. Grab my push pull tool, I'm gonna push till I see that and pam, now I got this funky keyhole shape. So it's really easy to do that. But let's say I didn't want the funky keyhole shape. I wanted just more of a standard arch. I can do that. So you can see how easy this would be to, um, you know, make archways and stuff like that. So you can get really quick, you know, reference. You get all, all kinds of cool details by just grabbing either the art the, between arch, circle, you know, these tools here, grabbing them and then making shapes and pushing and pulling. You can add all kinds of cool stuff. Let's say you wanted to do a corridor. So I'm gonna see if I can do this really quickly. Grab this tool here, and we can pull it up. So I'm going to go until I have a shape like this. Then I'm going to grab the arch tool. I'm going to click on the end point there and click on the end point here. Pull this down until I have this kind of arch like that. Then grab my push pull tool 
And, uh, well, that didn't work. Hold on. I'm going to run out of time. Right, so come back for part two, and I'll, I guess I'll do another part for uh, SketchUp, and I'll, I'll do a quick shape like this.